Hello and welcome back to White Collar Woker. So this channel is normally about business, it's normally about sales and making more money, but back in the day uh, I was trying to gain some chops in learning digital marketing and uh, learning about how to be a bit of a digital nomad is the, 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 the sort of term that a lot of people use. And I ended up going to Las Vegas and I slept on a friend's couch for a while and I hung out with a few of these people who were digital marketers at the time. And one of them was involved in a company called RSD, uh, which is a company called Real Social Dynamics, which I don't think exists in the capacity it did back in the day because of a huge media scandal, uh, which you can look up online. Don't do it on your work computer if you are looking that up online. Now, I met some really interesting people that ended up working for that company and they've subsequently left and one of them was was Todd Todd Valentine who I met now Todd Todd, I, Todd and me aren't friends um I just spent some time with Todd in general just asking his opinion on things and and uh Todd probably wouldn't remember me but uh, but I he left a real great impression on me and the the key characteristics that are really interesting about Todd is that he is someone that teaches dating obviously he, you know if you look at Todd Valentine and uh, a lot of his online products that is what Todd is is best known for sort of teaching men how to improve their their dating game but the thing that that Todd is really good at is having an extremely logical approach to life um, Todd is really good at looking life as if it's a game uh, or as if it's a puzzle and how to solve that puzzle uh, and there are a few things that the way that Todd looks at the world, which is slightly terrifying, if I'm completely honest with you. One of them was he recommended a book to me called The Moral Animal. Um, I believe he recommends it on his channel as well. And it's a slightly terrifying book because it breaks down human relationships into evolutionary biological terms. And I think Todd is one of those people that has read up on matters like evolutionary biology. Um, he's very well versed in game theory. Todd was a very good sports person back in the day. He, he was a soccer player, but he's also a borderline. I think he was a professional poker player uh, for a long period of time. So he's very well versed in um, ideas about how to live your life, how to be successful in terms of making decisions. He's also quite financially successful, despite the fact he's in a bit of a, a legal problem with RSD at the moment. Um, but the thing that I learned from Todd was that if you look at life as if it's a series of problems that can be overcome, then it empowers you. A lot of people, they look at their problems in their life and they don't break it down enough or they don't look at it in an abstract amount to see it as a game. But everything to Todd was a game. Um, he had systems for everything. He had systems for um, his uh, marketing procedures. He had, and you can see it on his on his uh, social media presence. He's got systems and, and very good systems for intros, for marketing emails, for reaching out to his team, for running his programs. Not even that, you know, how he looked at relationships between friends, women, um, spouses and things like that. So I think that the real lesson to be learned from Todd is that if you look at life as a game and if you look at life as a series of getting good at a series of games, you know, the game of money, the game of finding a romantic partner, the game of fitness, um, the game of happiness or the game of satisfaction, however you want to see it. Todd is uh, someone that I will never forget was very good at breaking down these games and um, you know, I think he's sort of stayed with me a lot, a lot of that time. And I, I sort of lost touch with him after he had a massive blow up with with RSD. And now he's doing his own stuff. Um, and I haven't got an opinion on, on, on Todd or RSD. That I'm, not, I'm not saying anything bad about either of them. I'm just saying that Todd, well, he's a very interesting character and sort of a, a philosophical figure um, as well as a, as a social figure. If, if you look at him in, in that sort of red pill manosphere, whatever you want to call it, Todd would be the ultra, the ultra logical sort of character. I suppose you could see him as a sort of Aristotle, maybe even a Plato character, someone that's all about data, someone that's all about proof, someone that's all about empiricism. That's what, what Todd is all about. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like these sort of videos, let me know and I'll keep chatting about them. And uh, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.